while they're running the ball better this year as North Carolina, Sam Howell, it's going to rely on his arm to see how this game turns out for North Carolina. Yep, <laughs> it's uh, Ricky Person with Hockman split out wide to the top of your screen. And Person trying to get outside but can't. He is cut down near the line of scrimmage. It's Newsom for the Tar Heels. Newsom has to back up and fields on his 16-yard line, trying to get the perimeter. And pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That Sam got last year, he is in definite command of this offense. All again to the air, and it's a first down catch out across the 40-yard line. Good balance, Diami Brown, who is a talented junior from Charlotte, 19 touchdowns a year ago. So more will even fall on Sam Howell to reproduce what he did last year because the expectations are even higher this year. NC State has a pretty good defense, though, especially at the linebacker position. He loves to hit. On third down and six, Howell to the air, and it's caught for a first down inside the NC State 40 by Diami Brown. The one-yard pickup, Howell back to throw here on second down and nine, fires down the seam complete. Here the 20-yard line is the tight end, Garrett Walston. It look easy right now, Wilson. Right past the linebacker, right before within the country and rushing. That's certainly going to help your quarterback in play action and through the air. On third and four, they run Carter, able to get to the outside. And Carter, close to the goal line, no signal yet. He's out of bounds at the one. Or is he in? We'll see again the ball. So the ball's in the right hand. So you're right, the, the left foot goes inside the pylon, and the ball looks like it goes right over the top of the pylon. It should be good. Should be a touchdown. Just was looking to see if that right foot hit out of bounds first, but it, it didn't it appear did not. to. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. That's definitely going to be a touchdown, and that's what these running backs are uh, are pretty used to here. Watching them play and watching him play, incredible. They're going to run it on first down to Ricky Person. Good hole. Able to bounce off the tackle and has a first down out across the 35-yard line. See it and get rid of it. Don't think too much. Don't wait for guys to get open. Anticipate. Here he is on third down and eight, taking a shot. That pass looked like it was on target, but Carter couldn't pull it in. Touchback on a 62-yard punt, so North Carolina takes over on its 20-yard line. And Howell uh, dumping it to Daz Newsom, a beautiful move. And Newsom out of pass the 30-yard line, picks up 14 yards. Had all those drops last week and a chance yep. to come back and beat Florida State. Second down and 10. Howell will throw it again in trouble in the backfield. Fumbled the ball, but falls on it at the 30-yard line. It was stripped by Calvin Hart. Third down and 14 after the four-yard loss for Sam Howell. Howell leaving the pocket here. Let's it fly. It's caught for a first down by Garrett Walston. He's a guy that he no doubt wants to get back in the game on third and one. And they get the first down here with Carter. Keep the drive going up to the 43-yard line. Got some, some fun tools to play with here. Owls pass. Pulled in at the 25-yard line for a first down. They're, just, they're taking advantage of what the defense has given them. Devontae Williams drilled yeah. in the backfield wow. by Drake Thomas <laughs> and tackled for a loss. Again, right to your right side. That is just filling a hole. And that's what these linebackers do. It's that play when you attack, all of a sudden that next level is free to run. He didn't miss it. Al with the 12th play of the drive here on third and 17. Steps up, runs into his own guy. Al backing up and looking deep. Instead, he's hit. Al still moving around and finally thrown out of bounds by Dawkins back at the 40-yard line. We've talked so highly about him. And not only is throwing, but is smart. And first credit to North Carolina State. Put some pressure. That's a three-man rush game. That's three men against five. And look at the pressure they're putting on him. 20 is underway. Big third down and two. And they're going to go with the direct snap here to Person. And he will not get the first down. His wife, Sally, said it was either the Bahamas, Hawaii, or Chapel Hill. They picked Chapel Hill. Al finds Diame Brown, who's loose in the North Carolina State Territory. 
looking to bring pressure. Here they come. The double A gets And picks. Holland trouble gets away from two defenders and takes off and picks up the first down. Nicely done by We're Sam Howell. Good. Rankings after that loss in Tallahassee a week ago. Ranked 14th right now. They run Javante Williams. Beautiful cutback move. And inside the 25 yard line, tripped up by Jakeen Harris. And Howell will give it to Williams. And Williams able to break the tackle. Nobody forces more missed tackles in all of college football than Javante Williams. It's first and goal after that 14-yard run. Howell going to keep this one here. Inside the five. Touchdown, North Carolina. Sam Howell's first rushing touchdown of the season. Obviously, he's looking for the quick pass to the right here with the with a uh, tight end out in front of him. Sees nobody there. Sees a hole. Makes someone miss. On the plane back to Norman afterwards, Brown sat beside Coach Switzer and said, Coach, I blew it. I'm sorry. He said, it's going to happen. You were down two quarterbacks. But at halftime, I sat there and listened to you tell those kids they were going to lose. Don't ever do that again. And meanwhile, we've got a new quarterback. True freshman Ben Finley in for Bailey Hockman, and they give him a couple of easy throws here to start the game. The last one was tonight, and this one is to a true freshman Porter Rooks, and he has another first down for the Wolfpack into North Carolina territory. I mean, let this kid unload the ball a little bit here to try and get him moving. Don't know if it's an injury to Hockman or if he's been benched. Here's Finley rolling left, oh. and the pass is caught. What a grab by Emeka Amezi, best receiver. And they're inside the 30-yard line of UNC. Let me tell you why that was even more important, Dave. When you bring in a bat back, let me tell you what, though. You can't rattle somebody in practice here. You're not allowed to hit the quarterback in practice. This will be a rattling here if he gets hit Finley a few times. Finley keeping it here on third down, and he's got the first down near the 10-yard line. First and goal outside the 10-yard line after the penalty. Finley facing some pressure, going to a wide-open receiver. It's picked off, though. Off the hands of the receiver and into the arms of Don Chapman for the pick. It was Dylan Parham that had a chance at an easy touchdown, but he couldn't hang on. As I was saying, make a play for your quarterback. Was intercepted in the end zone, results in a touchback. Make a play. This was an easy play. This is a ball right in his hands. Not only does he drop it, but he keeps it alive in the air. And a great recovery then by Chapman because they, they blew the coverage here. That man, it was wide open. You're thinking that six, you keep running the ball, and there it is. Mike Golick, who's in Bristol, Marty Smith in Chapel Hill. Dave Pash here in Arizona. Second and three for the Tar Heels on their 27-yard line. They give it to Carter and get to the perimeter. Past the 40-yard line before he's run out by Jakeen Harris. Then. First lineman hooks, tight end, just blocks the next different color jersey he sees, and the back reads off of that. Could have laid him out with a forearm, but didn't. Devontae Williams is in now in second down. He gets the call, and Williams has a first down inside the 40-yard line. Defensive line pulling right up into the middle. Ed Montillis. Second and two at the NC State 31. Williams easily gets the first down and more. Stepped out of bounds, but not much resistance by North Carolina State against that UNC rushing attack. Vontae Williams is in on third down and two. He'll get it. Lowers his helmet and powers through the arm tackle to get the first down. And Howell to throw, facing pressure. Howell throws to the end zone, overshoots the intended receiver, Simmons, and it's fourth down. Come on for a short field goal attempt. He's two for four on the season. Wow. And he missed it. Thayer Thomas let those guys make the plays. Finley to throw again, dumps it off here to Person. And out past the 35, the ball came out, but Person was down. Playmakers let him do their thing. Eventually, he's going to have to take it downfield. Finley stepping back here and dumps it off to Angeline at the NC State 46-yard line. Finley hits a Mezzi out in space. 
into Carolina territory. Close to a first down. Appears to have it at the 43. Jordan Houston is in the game at running back. Helping protect Finley's pass caught for a first down. And Emeki Amezi inside the 10. Touchdown, and NC State. Amezi's third of the season. And how about true freshman Ben Finley? Enthusiasm on the sideline. You see the defenders up, and as they're dropping back, they can't get back deep enough. The ball over their head. Into Amezi, who's got the inside route. Look at the youngster. He's having a ball out there. That I could maybe pull off. 54 seconds left. All timeouts remain. The pass is caught along the sideline. Yami Brown pulls in a beautiful throw by Sam Howell. The Tarios have plenty of time here. It doesn't, it doesn't matter after the miss with 22 yards. Here's Williams as they run the ball. And he's able to get the first down. The clock will stop as they reset the chains. Still two timeouts left for the Tar Heel. Pressure up the middle. Howell's pass is caught by Carter for a first down. I think the, the Bear was wrestling him, yeah. actually, looking at yeah. the replay. 40-yard try here Look by at Atkins, and he nails it. Well, good for him. Something in the first five minutes of the second half. Appreciate you, Coach. Thank, Thank you. you. And on the first play, they'll run Javante Williams. And he gets a first down, dragging a defender out to the 37-yard line. This year, so I, I agree, this could definitely be an elimination game. A third down and 10. Howell facing pressure. And Howell is sacked back at the 28-yard line by Daniel Joseph in that first half. You saw an initial, uh, one of the first drives, pressure with a three-man rush, but now North Carolina State has been bringing off the field for NC State. And Kiernan to punt for UNC. Bayer Thomas is deep for the Wolfpack. Makes the first man miss. Breaks another tackle and brought down at the 30-yard line. Just lays him out. Another run play here. Knight able to get the first down to the 46. Back already had some confidence, but it's building. And lead it throw again, and that pass is tipped, and another interception. This time by Surratt. Two deflected interceptions thrown by Ben Finley. By his own teammate, and this one tipped by a defender. They're seeing the quicker passes coming. They're getting their hands in the air, and that's just like a punt coming down. Easy pick for North Carolina. They maintain their 10-point lead. He is, uh, he is, I think, second most takedowns in UFC history. So you don't want you, you want to get on the mat with him. Howell hands it off to Javante Williams, breaking oh. another tackle inside the 40-yard line of NC State. And pushed out of bounds near the 30. A penalty marker is down. On a receiver, Choffrey Brown. Yeah, right at the bottom of the First down. screen there off our vision. We didn't see it. There you go, number one. Howell, who has a rushing touchdown, looking deep here, got a receiver, caught at the 20. Michael Carter, who's a pretty good receiver out of the backfield. And while we've talked about Carter and Williams, the running backs, they both have these backs are starting to really get great at all three of those phases. Howell to the air again, pass end zone wide open is Josh Downs, the true freshman with a touchdown. This is nothing but a blown coverage there. See the defender letting him go. The NC State offense out to its third quarterback now. Finley on third and three, leaving the pocket in trouble. And Finley just throws it away. Yeah, he's gonna... feels like they have to go, but this is going to be a quick kick, though. Yep. And Finley does an excellent job. NC State will be able to down that inside the one-yard line. Wow. <laughs> After that excellent quick kick by the quarterback. Javante Williams able to give him some breathing room and more up past the 20-yard line. Finally dragged down at the 25. That was a great chance for North Carolina State to try and keep pinned in. And there's that running game, 11th best in the country. There's that running back. Carroll in Baltimore with John Harbaugh and now Bruce Arians to Tampa Bay where he goes. It had to be a coach, and I'll finish after this play. 
Al steps up, eludes pressure, and throws a strike to Yami Brown for a first down. About on the field, if Antonio Brown is anywhere near what he is, what it could do for that offense. Williams straight ahead, breaks more tackles. It is amazing how this guy. Third down and 10 now for North Carolina. Pressure off the edge. Out moving away from it. And the pass is incomplete. There is a flag down. No fresh set of downs at the NC State 42. Carter. Another Carolina first down. Brother Bryce pitching in the World Series. Or at least the LCS for the Braves. Lost to the Dodgers though. As Howell's pass over the middle is caught. Down to the one yard line, Diami Brown. Up at the top of the screen, that was a nice throw because that was pretty good coverage by Dunlap. Diami Brown's got the inside, so that's exactly where the ball needs to be. And it is up high. Either Brown's getting that or nobody's getting that. He goes up and just snags it out of the air. It's a program that has never been good except when this guy was coaching them. All right, think on that. They run on first and goal, and Javante Williams is in for another North Carolina touchdown. Here on the on the goal line, again, I talked about the size of that old line, just leaning on the D-line, getting the payoff. Finley in trouble in the backfield here, and... Oh, Lost the ball. Was sacked by Surratt. Coughed it up. And North Carolina comes up with the football. Desmond Evans getting the recovery. Game got to him a little bit. More importantly, North Carolina got to him a little bit. Chad Surratt with the pressure there. He puts his right hand on the ball trying to tackle him. And then the true freshman. For the sake of what three drops on the last drive they 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 may have won that game third down and goal everybody covered Al takes off throws back to the middle and it's incomplete again they don't play Clemson in the regular season but they do have Notre Dame and Miami Al with the pitch to Williams on second and goal Williams is in for his second touchdown this quarter I'm just amazed. I mean, they're, they're, at least they tried to wrap up. Should seriously consider going back to Chapel Hill, and that's where he is, and he has turned this thing around so quickly. You got Bailey Hockman in the game uh, the now at quarterback for NC State, a penalty marker down. Nobody's been able to win since he was there, and you know Tom Herman, who knows what the future holds for him. If uh, Texas doesn't play better here the next few weeks, Hockman throwing the ball downfield. That pass on the money. Caught by Thayer Thomas. Wow. Excellent throw. Goes to the outside. As Hockman trying to redeem himself from being benched earlier in the game. Hockman again throwing it downfield. And it is caught for a... Let's see here, Wade. On the ground, they're going to say incomplete. Thought it was caught there for a second. Penalty marker is down. Second down and ten. Hockman in trouble, escapes, dumps it off, it's caught, not into the end zone though, as Brooks couldn't keep his feet, but it will be first and goal. They're going to do next week at the quarterback position. Hockman There's Hockman gets in. keeping it, and he's in for the touchdown. Quarterback keeper all the way, nothing fancy. Finds a hole, gets in for the score, but... You know, Finley, the true freshman, comes in as this guy, Hockman, gets benched. Finley comes in a lot of the... You guys had to be absolutely freezing outside <laughs> today for game day. Sorry, fellas. Second and seven, big hole for Carter. It's been the story of the game. North Carolina running all over that NC State defense. Tay Williams at 133 yards, so here you go. Just a zone play to the left. He ends up cutting it all the way back to the right. North Carolina offense that has been up to the task. I know they were picked 11th preseason rankings, and they have some injuries, but just expected more. Again, huge running room for Javante Williams, who basically walk in for the North Carolina touchdown. That's his third of the second half.
Wow. Right guard, Kiwan Johnson, number 69, comes around, pulls around the center, comes up through the hole. And honestly, it was their doing of stopping this, and now they made the, the right move to try and play now. Here's Rooks getting the first down past the 40 and up to midfield. On social media, continuing to say we are safer in our own buildings than we would be going home. And Davo Sweeney actually told me last week before I did the Clemson game last week. Comes now and then in the NFL as they go on. And we've definitely seen it more in college, but there's way more as we see a little crossing route here. We see way more in college because there's there's more players, there's more teams. So fourth and fourteen, and the Wolfpack will go for it down by 31. Bailey Hoffman, who started the game, but was pulled back on the field, and he gets sacked by Tamon Fox. The North Carolina takes over on down. Mac Brown said, "Guys, I don't know. I'm white." Brown told us, I thought white privilege was that I was white and had money. That's not it at all. He said they started to have conversations that were very difficult and very impactful and that there were actually two coaches on the staff, which he did not name. Auburn been 0-2 on the road this season. They run it here on third down and nine, and they're going to come up well short. He's out there to continue to get some work. 34-yard try here, fourth down and seven. And he nails it. NC State first and 10 on his 25 with Bailey Hockman in the game again at quarterback. The loss of Devin Leary as Hockman's pass is caught near the first down. The rest of the season for the Wolfpack, and they have been killed by injuries the last two seasons. They're already at their win total from a year ago as Hockman's pass is caught. In NC territory, these guys are so used to their daily and weekly routines, but those went out the window long ago. Third down and ten. Hoffman throwing it deep, and it's incomplete over the head of the intended receiver. So Test three times a week. And you kind of hold your breath, hoping you know someone doesn't test positive. So we see a completion for a first down. And you also have the. Uh, the recruiting aspect of it is Hockman throws a beautiful pass to the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown by Smith. Penalty flagged down, but that was a great throw by Hockman. I believe it was. I believe it was Devin Carter. You know, here another one lays out there. Nice air underneath the ball. A lot of credit for Hockman. You thought he maybe had his chance. Josh Henderson with a ton of running room, and the Josh onslaught Henderson on the ground the continues. North Carolina well over 300 onslaught rushing yards a day. All getting it done right now. All, a lot of subs in here. How many times we've seen the play start one way and then end up the other way? North Carolina State losing contain. And, and what's going to happen after this from a successful game? And again, now what Mac Brown's going to tell this team and talk to them, hey, you know what? Again, you, you, you may not handle success well. And I, you know, I don't think that, that Junior's going to give me too much grief. He might, but he'll get over it, right? Dad wins. You win. Boom. Well, I, I and this mask, I'm thing. trying so hard to keep it on my face. It's a difficult right. task. Ty goes to, uh, oh, the ball came out there at the end. I thought it was a catch. 